Greetings! This is Darvain and welcome back to Let's Play Avernum. In the last episode we were exploring the Crypt of Drath. We found a way around the chasm that we couldn't cross. Turns out that there was a nice little secret passage and we found a way down deeper into the crypt. So what we're going to do is head down and see what we face. Hmm. There is a marble obelisk here with what looks like a list of names. Hmm. As long as they're not our names, that'd be fine. Okay. Loot. This body has been here for many years. Its tattered armour shows a sun insignia at the Empire Army. You don't find any treasure on the corpse, but you do find the remnants of a diary. You are, you are able to understand a few words. Luck. Demon Slayer is lost. It broke into three places when we could use it the most. Gore carried the tip below. It is lost in the crypt. We are taking the other two pieces west in the hope. That is all you can understand. <laughs> So, Demon Slayer is here somewhere then. 
Demon Slayer tip is definitely here somewhere. Hmm. Did you just walk through the wall? You did, you just walked through a wall, didn't you? Bearer of the Mind Crystal. drunken undead, eh? Suppose if you're sitting in a tomb all day, what else are you gonna do?
There are several large red dragon rune runes set into the wall. It's somewhat ominous. Damn you. decipher the writing strange at first the writing seems to be in a completely unfamiliar script but the more you look at it the more it seems to make sense your rain realize what's happening it's a common sort of magical trap it's a way of forcing intruders to cast a damaging spell it doesn't matter you're powerless to resist as the book explodes into flames burning you something appears inside the protective rooms <laughs> It no longer appears inside the protective runes. Everybody was Kung Fu fighting. And we are back on the rocks. Ain't in this script. <laughs> Manage to turn the wheel. You feel chain shifting and sliding through holes beneath your feet. Then the wheel gets stuck. You can't budge it. Okay. Let's see what that has done then. Uh, 
hasn't changed the gate. Maybe it's... No. There's some way of getting up here. Well, we're still stuck. You can't move it anymore. Okay. Don't know what it is. We'll find out soon enough. One of the walls at the end of this passage looks strange. It seems like the insubstantial, like you could almost look for a... Give me this one. There's a boat there. Couple of boats there actually.
iron gate is enormous. You try to lift it, but you have nowhere near the strength. It's been opened a few inches, but not far enough for you to slide under it. And on the other side, you can see a stairway leading down into the shadows. Healing elixir, healing elixir. Great effort, you manage to turn the wheel a few feet, you feel chains and slide and then you get stuck. You budget. Okay. Got any food? No. There's no point in us even going out to rest. We've not got any food. There was... Hmm, that is weird. In that the gate's already open for downstairs. Let's go and see those other stairs. Wow, shortcut. Okay, would never have known that was there.
What the? I've got to open them up again, haven't I? Let's go and see what's down here then, shall we? Do ooh, hello.
Okay. So, which one do we want? Let's take this one. Okay. in a pattern here Passageway becomes icy cold. You start to feel numb as you progress. You, st you start to hear a soft voice in your head. It says simply, closer, 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 closer. The voice says it again and again. Lightning, ice, ice, slowing. Major call. 
ice and lightning acid bolt of fire <laughs> Wrath, the master of this crypt has finally been laid to rest. You immediately feel warmer and the darkness feels less oppressive. You'd feel a sense of triumph but for the fact you still need to escape from this horrible place. Yes. And more importantly... Ah! Blessed robe. Just try and decipher that. This is an ancient spell book. Surprisingly, the magical script makes it it uses is vaguely familiar to you. Those in your group with a skill cast in magical spells will be able to decipher it. However, it may not necessarily be a good idea. Some of the rituals and descriptions seem very strange, and reading such magical script can have peculiar effects on the mind. Study the tarot. <laughs> The book describes to your worldcasters a long list of rules and ways of seeing the world. First, they seem to make sense. Do they seem to involve the righteous and the magically strong subjugating the weak? You try to look past the questionable morals and understand the powerful secrets. You do manage to learn some things 
and do so while keeping the strange ideas from becoming lodged in your mind. The effect leaves you feeling more powerful but drained and slightly unhinged. As you close the book, you notice the pages have become blank. Safe travel level for yep, that's what we wanted. In the middle of this dark eerie cavern, near a subterranean lake, you find the littered sarcophagus. Inside you find several thick sheets of rot rotten cloth. The creature wrapped, in itself, wrapped itself in them when it retired here to recharge. Beneath the scraps of grey cloth you find an odd trophy, the tip of a sword. It's a shard of metal six inches long and the steel is still bright and shiny. Let's take it!
interesting main port. of draft. Okay. So. Let's carry on. Well, I say carry on. We've got the three parts of... We have got the three parts. So, we can go to Fort Draco now. Which is what I'm going to do. This lift's got this far as this side, I know no idea. Sort this out then. Silver ring can go to you. Okay. going to our mirror
Palmera is actually a very good base for pretty much the entire game, to be honest. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. We have boots. The boots of speed. Two plus two, one to two plus two, okay. Chain mail. Cursed chain mail, okay. Cursed leather helmet. And gymnastics. Okay. Harder to hit and helps you act faster in combat. Okay. Uh, don't use it yet because that no I would give that to Melissa to be honest I would give that to Melissa So you've got gymnastics, which is trainable. Gymnastics! Yeah, you've got boots of speed. Got more boots of speed. doing okay. Silver ring. Gold ring. We don't want to, we can sell the cursed chainmail but then don't really want to. Shield ring. Silver necklace. Gold bracelet. Gold necklace. Ceremonial daggers. Silver drinking cup. Beautiful fur. Quite a bit of amber and a cork. Get rid of the robe, we don't need you. You can get rid of your boots, we don't need you. Okay. So we're gonna go train and then we will rest. And then in the next episode, or we are going to go to Fort Draco. Then we are going to go to a Tower of Magi and pick up the last spell for Mycroft. Uh, not Mycroft, the Rosalia. Let me see, eight points. So your intelligence can go up. You one point for something. You've got no points. You've got eight points. See, eight points. Insurance. Uh, nine points. So, intelligence.
and so 37. Hey, technically I know where you can buy an infinite number of knowledge brews, so you can get skill points, they're not cheap. I think it's something like 5,000 coins per potion or something stupid like that. And you get five skill points. <coughs> to be honest, I'm quite happy as we are. Okay. Room for the night, thank you. Let's dump these. Stop that. Okay, so you're going to leave it here. This has been Darvain doing a Let's Play Avernum. We're coming quite close to the end. Not sure how long we got. There's a couple of other bits, but we can pretty much explore everywhere now. So if you like what you're seeing here, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Please consider sponsoring me on Patreon to help make videos like this. And until the next time, goodbye.